Hey, what's up guys? This is David with Great Choice Audio Video. And today, uh, we're going to do a video on Josh.ai. Now, we're going to do a series of videos coming in, in the very near future. Uh, probably six or seven different videos of little segments showing all the different things uh, that Josh can do and how it operates, how it works. Uh, between, it's not just a voice control system, but they also have their own app. So you can control all the devices that way. You can um, do scenes, uh, control local sources, um, all sorts of really cool things. So it doesn't have to be just voice, but voice is what makes Josh so special. Now, I know there's other voice control systems out there, uh, Alexa, you know, Google, things like that, but there's a lot of information you have to give those services that you know, privacy is a huge deal for Josh. So um, it's a very secure voice control type system. And so I want to show you guys, get you a little brief overview of what Josh is about, what it can do, um, all the things it can, can control and what it looks like, what it entails. And then we'll get into those small little videos that'll be coming out uh, for you guys to see. That'd be super cool showing all how everything kind of works. So let me show what a Josh Micro looks like and we'll go over all the little details of uh, different brands and all sorts of things about the app and such. So follow me. All right, guys, I just want to show you real fast. Uh, this is, I was going to show you on my phone. It looks identical to the phone, but because it's a video, uh, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like on an iPad, uh, just a bigger display, so hopefully you can read what's on the screen. So, that being said, as soon as I open the Josh app, you'll see this is obviously my personal house. So, at the top, it gives you a message um, of what's going on with the system. So, it's already telling you and giving you information about what's going on at your house or property. So, this one says, one shade is open. Should I close it? Now, you can ignore that or you can hit close all. Um, so right now I'm just going to ignore and so there we go. Good evening, David. In Edmond, it is clear in 65. So pretty cool. Uh, it gives you live weather, what's going on uh, in, in your area. And then down below, it's also letting you know where you see these two things here is what's going on uh, in the house. So saying there's one shade open in the kitchen and we have Lutron shades in the kitchen and it says one TV on in the game room or that's where I am right now, is in the game room. So it's showing those two are alive. Now, what's really cool about Josh is that um, you don't have to be into that room to say a command. I don't know if you see in this bottom right hand corner, there's a microphone. You can actually press the microphone there and do a voice command through the app to uh, have Josh do whatever you want it to do, whether it's turn on the lights, close the shades, whether, you know, turn off a certain room, turn on a certain room, turn on music, that sort of thing. So you can uh, type out a command or you can hit this microphone and say a command, or if you're in the room with a mic, um, say it that way as well. So lots of cool ways to control Josh, guys. Um, now at the bottom, you'll see there's other little figures. So we have the home, which that's where we're at right now. It's the home page. The next tab is all your rooms. So each room, uh, as you see, um, it tells you what's all going on. So like this is the breakfast nook. It says that there's two shades and in the game room it says that there's a TV, there's music. Here's where the Josh Micro is located. The kitchen. Uh, we have a kitchen shade. It says it's open. Now what's really cool is that you can control that shade right from here. At the top, that's what that shade uh, bar is. So you can actually, it's just like a dimmer, lower it and raise it just that way. And then you have another room, it's a Marantz, which is um, in another room of the house. Then we have the master bedroom. Again, it says the shades are closed. We have a left and a right shade in there. And then we have a tech closet. So this is an easy way to go to each of the rooms and see what's going on or navigate things individually. The next tab is all your devices. So if you wanna to go to a certain device in the house, you can go to, all, and it has all the categories over here, keypads, shades, music, video, and micro. So you have multiple micros that would show up right there. So let's say shades, for instance, we're gonna select shades. Well, there's all the areas in the house that we have shades, the breakfast nook, the kitchen, and master bedroom. So from this one screen, I can easily open and close shades throughout the entire house, or do a close all or open all. Same thing with music. You know, right now we just have one room with music, uh, which is the game room. Um, we'll add more music later and we'll add more lights later. We're working on a whole bunch of things 
and to have Josh control. So super cool on controlling individual devices, individual rooms. Now, we'll go one step further in the app, and this last little icon right here is our scenes app. So if you look over here on the left-hand side, these are some of the scenes that we've created so far. And all a scene is, is a combination of commands that you want um, Josh to do. So for instance, I created a simple scene. It's called uh, Shades Closed Daily or Shades Down Midday. So we like the shades to close at 3 p.m. in the kitchen because we have a lot of light coming through. So we activate the scene and now at 3 p.m. the shades automatically close. And then we have another scene where shades go up at 6 p.m. So then we have, you know, because it's getting dark this time of season, 5.30. So at 6 o'clock we have the shades go up. So now we have, you know, an open window. So it's super cool. And it's easy to add a scene. Um, you can hit the microphone and add a scene that way by just speaking and, add, and tell it what you want it to do. Or you can just hit this add scene button, just like that and type out your scene and what do you want it to do just like you were typing you know or saying a command you know uh, have the shades go to 50 percent in the kitchen turn the lights down to 40 percent um, have the thermostat go to 74 degrees and all those sort of things in one command so when you press one button or say one command it's now doing the whole whole line so super cool super easy the app is incredible it's super easy to use like i said this is a standalone app this is not even working with a third-party company or, or uh, control system like Elon or control 4 or crestron or savant this is right now set up as standalone again we're going to show you guys lighting control controlling the music controlling shades and how that looks and all that kind of stuff here later on but i wanted to show you guys how easy and how clean the app looks and how cool it is to use voice and how easy it is to use voice to control your system. I know there's a lot of systems out there that use voice. It's so irritating because you'll say a command and it may not be exactly what was programmed into the system to do the, the thing that you wanted it to do and it's not working. So I understand that. Well, with Josh, what's really cool and different, you can actually program a single command saying, multiple different things like if you had different ways of saying it or maybe you had different people in the house calling it something one thing and someone else calling it another well they could still say those things and you can program josh to uh, to make make it do the exact same end result with different commands so super cool so which makes it more natural and easy to use so anyway um can't wait to show you guys more about josh we got a lot more videos coming out so tell us, tell us what you think. And again, this is always being updated. So it's always letting you know what's going on at the top. All right, guys, let me show you real fast what the Josh Micro is. Now, Josh can come in black and white, and that's what this little thing is right here. And uh, when you activate a command, it's, okay, Josh. See, it turns a color. And that's letting you know that it's ready. Now, you can program it to give you an alert, a beep, you know, that it heard you. Um, but like I said, these come in black and white. We just happened to get a black one, so we mounted it on a rack. Um, and most systems, you'll want to have one of these pretty much in every room that you're controlling something, whether it's lights, shades, music, whatever, because you want Josh to be as natural as possible. So without having to go into a room and go, oh, I am in the living room or I'm in the kitchen. Um, hey, turn on the kitchen lights. No, you just want to walk into the room and go, Turn on the island lights, turn on the bar lights, turn them to 30%, turn off all the lights without having to actually say what the room is. So Josh knows exactly where you're at. So that being said, you can tell Josh all, all kinds of things and it has a lot of good responses too as far as, you know, like uh, if you want to teach it your name. Okay, Josh, what is my name? David Pruitt. I don't know if you heard that, but it actually said my name through the speakers. So that's another thing you can do with Josh. It has a speaker on these micros, but with certain types of Sonos amplifiers and Sonos products, um, or going through certain other amps with the Sonos product, you can actually have the voice 
go through the speakers and not just the little speaker on the micro. Super cool. So um, evidently I've got a guest right here that is wanting to be a part of the video. And uh, there she is. So everybody, here is Martha Pearl. And she's been in a few other videos. Mm -hmm. and so for whatever reason, if I get down to her level, she needs to be a part of this video. So, but again, we'll, uh, we'll go back over there to the table and I'll start going all over all the cool things that uh, Josh can control, some different brands that can control. So whether we do it as a standalone system or um, integrate it into a control system like a lawn, you know, you have Control 4, Savant, Crash all those out there. So let's get to that and uh, follow me. Hey, check this out. Okay, Josh, what's the weather tomorrow? Expect a high of 75 degrees and a low of 55 degrees. Hmm, not bad. Pretty neat. Ah, here's one. It's kind of funny. Um, you can program some really cool uh, messages with certain commands, which we'll show you guys later. But uh, one that's pre-programmed in, which is kind of neat, this is not a off command. Um, this is more just a command that, that Josh automatically puts in, but if you tell Josh good night, um, it's kind of it's kind of neat sometimes what it says. So watch this. Okay, Josh. Good night. Good night, David. Sleep well. Good night, David. Sleep well. That's pretty cool. So um, now the last command we'll do obviously is shut this thing down. So check this out. Okay, Josh. Turn off the game room. Everything's off now. Just like that, everything went off. I said, everything's off now. So a lot of pretty cool confirmation of what the command is. So again, another cool way of uh, doing voice. And the cool thing is the privacy of, of voice uh, because those other voice control systems, just your information gets out. Unfortunately, um, you don't know what some of those are doing with it. So one thing we like about Josh is definitely, they definitely focus a lot of attention to privacy uh, when it comes to your information with voice control. So um, this is one thing we really like. And then the ability to give multiple commands um, at one time and be able to say multiple different things to make the same command happen without having to remember exactly, oh, what did I program that to do? Or how did I have to say that for it to work? It's not very, I mean, nobody likes that experience. It's not a very pleasant experience. So with Josh, I mean, <laughs> once when you can say multiple things and to do the same result, which makes life so much easier and way more natural. So just another way to control things and it makes things just a whole better, whole, whole different experience. Just very more, much, much more pleasant. So um, <laughs> until next time, guys, we'll uh, see you in the next one. All right, guys, so now we're back. Gonna go over all the different items that uh, Josh can control. So as you're thinking about what you want to control in your house, whether it's through voice or just all through the same app, um, I'll go through the list of different um, you know, brands. Uh, I won't go through every single brand. Um, and we, we can go, you know, show you that down in the description below, but just the major brands that we work with um, in each of the categories. So people can have an idea what it can control, what it can't control, the brands that um, it can integrate with and that sort of thing. So first one was lights. Lights is a big one. A lot of people like to control lights, uh, whether they want to schedule lights. Um, now, when I say lights, we're talking, you know, dimmers, uh, a switch. So something that just goes on and off or dim down to a certain percentage or even Philips Hue. Somebody wants to control color. You know, they want a certain light to be red, blue, green, that sort of thing. So Lutron lights, Philips Hue, top two for controlled lighting that uh, will integrate with Josh. One of the next categories is fans. There's only one and it's the big one. If you guessed it, it's the big ass fan company. So they make one of the coolest fans on the market. If you guys aren't familiar with that company, Go check them out. Their, their, their website is super cool. Lots of different fans from, from that company and, and their high Q residential version. So those fans can integrate with Josh. The next category is music. Now the two big ones um, is Sonos and Heos. 
Now, one of the biggest differences between the two is there's a huge partnership between Sonos and Josh. And what I mean by that is that they've integrated Josh in all their new products. You know, their Sonos amp, Sonos, the Sonos port, all their Sonos speakers. So when you say a command and Josh speaks back, instead of coming, like I said, through that little micro, through the little speaker, it actually comes through the Sonos speakers or your speakers that's connected to a Sonos amp. Super cool, sounds way better um, than a little, obviously a little speaker coming out of that uh, Josh Micro, but super neat, very natural. So the next category is audio streaming services. Now it works with just practically all the major services. You got Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, and XM. So whether you you know, wanted to have your favorite radio station come on on one of those or a playlist, you can activate it through voice or through the app on any of those. Next one is shades. Now there's only one and that's motorized shades through Lutron. So you can operate all your Lutron shades with your Lutron lighting. Super cool, very easy to do. You could do all the um, different segments of Lutron, whether it's Lutron Caseta, Radio Raw 2, Radio Raw 2 Select, all that kind of stuff. So. Super cool and controlling lights. Uh, the next one will be thermostats. Again, Lutron, and then they do the Ecobee and April Air. So if you want to integrate those as well, those would be the three brands that we would try to stick with. And uh, super cool to control with, uh, with Josh. Uh, you can control mini cameras, so you can see all your cameras through the same app. And TVs, the three major ones, Samsung, LG, and Sony. You can control those. Uh, most of them are all on your network, so you're able to control them going on and off. Uh, you can do scenes, you can create um, all kinds of cool things to control the TV and everything like that. So um, the next one for media, the number one and pretty much only one that Josh likes to work with is Roku. Now the cool thing about Roku is they're super cool on all the channels that's integrated into Roku. You got your YouTube TV, you got your Netflix, you got all these different apps. Well, Josh is able to navigate through the Roku um, through its app and also through voice. Now, some of the ones that you can really, if you want to say like go to a certain movie um, or certain YouTube video, so Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube work great. Super cool, and we'll have a video coming up with you guys and show you how that works. Um, you can literally say, go to a certain movie in Netflix and that one command will do a whole string of things. Turn on the TV, turn on the receiver, go to the right input, and go directly to that video. Super cool, guys. So, um, next thing we got is AV receivers. Again, top three is Sony, Marantz, and Yamaha. So, just, and there's a bunch more guys that uh, all this Josh stuff can integrate with, and you can actually go to the Josh website or we'll list some stuff down below, but. Those are the major ones in all these different categories. So I just want to show you guys that there's a lot of different brands, stuff you may already have, stuff that you're looking at purchasing or getting through us or whatever it may be. So Josh could be a standalone system and control all these other devices, like I said, through voice or through the app or um, so many, so many, so many cool things. So um, stick with us and we got more to show you on this. And then, like I said, I wanted to show you just a brief overview of the app and how all that works and uh, stay tuned. So. What do you guys think of Josh.ai so far? Like I say, quick overview, just a little bit about it. Uh, not showing you exactly what it can do just yet, but man, <laughs> we're super excited about this product. Um, you know, we hope to show you these videos coming out real soon on how to control lights, music, shades, um, room audio video, you know, turning TVs on, navigating through Roku, um, all those really cool fun things. Um, how to go to certain songs, how to go to certain movies, I mean, just, just making things where it's easy to use for everybody, like whether you use the app, whether you use voice. Um, super cool. And we want to make it as natural as possible. And there's more products coming out from Josh just after the first year, and we'll show you videos on that. Uh, make it super cool. Nano, it's got four microphones, super, super small. Can mount on a wall. It's no bigger than a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, comes in white and black and easily blend into the wall. And uh, we'll show you guys that later on as well. And then there's another part coming out from Josh that we can actually integrate into existing multi-channel audio systems, which is super cool. And 
the really cool thing is to be able to use your existing system, existing speakers, do voice cast, which is making all the Josh commands come through your speakers versus the micro speaker. So super cool, guys. Um, look forward to showing you all those cool things coming up. Um, but wanted you guys to make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, you know, and we'd love to hear you guys' comments, you know, on our videos and, you know, any suggestions. But like I said, we got several videos coming out for Josh and um, can't wait for to, you guys to see him. So until next time, we'll see you guys.